Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to properly clean, condition, and maintain these Tony Llama cowboy boots. On top of that, we'll be focusing on how to keep that beloved leather patina because beauty often comes with age. Let's get to it. Hey guys, my name's Evan and it's my goal to share with you the skills and tools needed to love your leather. Like I said, today's focus is on cleaning leather while keeping that beautiful patina that's aged on the leather through the years. As I always say, it's vitally important to understand the condition versus the cleanliness of your boots in order to care for both properly. So as we take a look at these boots, we see that they're dry, dusty, and dirty. They have quite a bit of scuffing and there's some damage as well, all of which we'll take care of in this video. So go ahead and stick around until the very end. Also, check out this video where I restore the color on these faded black Ariat cowboy boots as well. Let's get to cleaning. Go ahead and grab your favorite cleaner for the job. I actually stopped using saddle soap, and if you'd like to know why, check out this video. I personally use Shoe MGK for all my cleans because it's designed for all types of leather, conditions with natural coconut and jojoba oils, and is effective every single time I use it. Now, as per the instructions, I'm not actually going to use any water because I want to further keep the patina, but I do want to give it a good clean. So I'll be putting some solution into a basin instead of on the brush because I want the solution to be on the tip of the bristles rather than inside the brush since we're not using water. From there, I'm going to gently, evenly, and thoroughly brush all throughout the boot. You'll start to notice that the leather is getting patchy and this is because some of the leather pores are filled maybe with a conditioner or oil while others are not. This leads to some of the liquid passing through and bleeding into the leather fibers but don't worry, everything should dry nicely. Though keep in mind that if you do try to clean only one area of a dirty boot, you may run the risk of creating a water spot, so it's best to clean the entire boot to avoid that. Pro tip, in order to prevent liquid from fully absorbing into the leather, clean a section at a time and wipe off the dirty suds right after. Our goal here is to get off the dirt, dust, and any particles from our leather before we apply our leather balm. Where normally I would use Shum Decay's leather cream on my cowboy boots, because we're looking to specially keep and maintain that beautiful patina, we'll be using a specially formulated boot balm that's even good on things like exotic leathers as well. And speaking of leather balm, we have a special surprise today. Our friends over at Chizos in Texas sent us some leather balm to use on our boots. And whether you have regular cowhide leather or even something more exotic like rattlesnake or croc leather, this balm is made for that. This boot balm is made up of carnauba wax and a proprietary blend of oils. I'm excited to use it for the first time, so let's get to it. I'm just going to apply the appropriate amount to lightly cover the entirety of the surface. I want to make sure I don't use too much all at once because I don't want to cake on the balm because it'll just turn out greasy. If you feel like the first pass left your boots dry, feel free to add more. And as I'm applying this balm, I've got to say I'm really liking the viscosity of this product because I don't have to put in much effort to apply it. It also doesn't feel sticky, which I personally like. And I can see that the leather is just soaking in the balm and giving it a really deep and rich tone without darkening the leather too much. So innately, if something is dry, it's going to darken when you rehydrate it. And this balm is doing just an excellent job. And for that flaky dry midsole and heel block, I'm going to make sure to really massage the balm into the leather in order to rejuvenate and keep it flexible for each step. I am really loving the luster that this cream is providing. Have you guys ever used Chizos leather balm before or maybe you own a pair of Chizos boots? Let me know in the comments below. And for you veteran boot cleaners out there, what's your go-to leather cleaner and conditioner? I'm always curious to see how things work for you guys. Thank <laughs> you. 
I really appreciate how this leather balm is just highlighting the patina on these boots. It really brings out the best in the leather. And I know you guys can't feel it, but the leather has gone from dry and ashy to hydrated and supple, which is phenomenal. And as I always say, and you guys will thank me later, fill out your leather. You want to do this because the creasing or cracking that begins to form around the boot when you bend down will be prevented or at the very least slowed down as you wear your boots. I use plastic bags or recycled paper, but a good boot tree to fill out your leather as well as something like a pool noodle to keep the shaft from bending are great tools to keep your leathers shape. Okay, so I don't know if this has ever happened to you guys, but it seems like the faux leather trim wasn't secured properly during manufacturing and eventually popped out. So we're going to easily fix that with some glue. So I'm just going to trim the excess and apply small amounts of super glue. I chose super glue because I need it to dry quickly as well as that this portion is small and doesn't need to bend or flex often. If it were, I would use something like Phoebing's leather cement because it's made to flex with leather. You want to make sure not to get any of the glue onto the leather itself, but just begin to apply the appropriate amount so that the surface is coated in glue. If you put too much glue, it's going to ooze out when you close up the leather, so make sure to put less first. Once all of that's done, I'm just going to begin to massage the rim back into place using any type of clamp to help me keep down the rim as the glue dries. And as you guys can see, I think it turned out really well. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Awesome. So our very last step is to thoroughly and evenly disperse all of that balm on the boots after it's dried for about 30 minutes to an hour. And I'm using a horsehair brush and moving in a vigorous back and forth motion. Pro tip, as you vigorously brush, don't push down hard onto the leather. Just barely touch the surface and that's going to produce the best results. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Here is our boot when we first started. But before we see the results, if you guys enjoyed the video and got some valuable information, please support my channel and subscribe to see more videos weekly. Do your friends and family a quick favor and share the channel with them as well. A quick shout out to our sponsor, ShoeMGK, for providing us with amazing products that help us clean anything from sneakers to cowboy boots. If you guys want the results that I get, go ahead and use my code AVAMIS for 20% off and free shipping on their website site. Also, don't forget to check out Chizos Leather Balm as well as their boots. Thanks again for watching and remember to love your leather.